Okay, Scorpio, I apologize. My video cut off. So let me start back. I want to get back to here. So you're feeling like you're, you're waiting for somebody to maybe get on the same page with you. And I feel like you, you might feel like that you were waiting for nothing, that this person's not, maybe they're not able to meet your needs. Okay. In some way. Um, I don't feel like you're requiring a lot. It's just maybe what you need at this time. And this is a person who can't provide that. And I feel like you know that if they can't provide it, maybe you need to maybe move forward with something else in your life to be able to get your manifestation or to be able to get the resources or have the things around you that you need to make, make this whatever it is that you want to happen. It's like there's a lot of regret here for maybe even being in scarcity and having to end something because of it. Or maybe you're regretting the fact that you're going to need to walk away because of scarcity. Um, and I feel like there's love. I don't really see any cups out here. This is a thing. I don't see a lot of cups. It, it's talking mainly about being in your head and your resources and, um, you know, being in a scarcity mindset. We have the magician in death. It's like the resources are, are not there and so something's ending. You're needing to end something because the resources are not there. Or it's not... Something that's readily at your disposal. Okay. Um, I feel like Scorpio. The magician is something that talks about. You know. Um, it's talking about. Interpreted with energy. And your potential. And the manifestations of your desires. Um, it's something that's symbolizing. Usually. You know. Meeting of the physical and the spiritual world. You know. It's like as above so below. And they can do it converting of spiritual energy into the real world action and it's like you're seeing something that maybe something's not somebody's not able to do that and it's taking you bad a little bit I feel like you're not really sure what to do it's like maybe you feel like somebody's not able to step up and lead and this is by them being able to step up leave it can help everybody get clear here and but you're needing somebody who's more focused and energized to get on the same page as you and it's like maybe this person doesn't oh, isn't aware of how powerful they are and it's reminding you maybe that you feel like you deserve you deserve something in order to accomplish these dreams whether it's big or small and that you have all you need to do so but maybe you feel like this person doesn't realize that they feel like they're in scarcity and they're feeling regretful that maybe they they're not able to do that for you and there's not able there's no transformation here because of it um I don't see a whole lot of love. I just see a lot of regret and, you know, like remorse that maybe somebody can't provide you with that. But it's like the magician is pointing to maybe somebody's talents or their capabilities and their resources that's at your disposable disposal to succeed. Like somebody's not tapping into their full potential or maybe they're holding back. And especially when there's something that needs to transform something. And that's why we have death here and the five of cups. Because it's like there's regret that there's scarcity in order to transform something. Um, they're needing to speak to you about this with the knight of swords. Or they're needing to give you communication about maybe why they're not able to transform something. And it could have to do, Scorpio, with... We have the seven of pentacles and the seven of swords. Okay. This is telling me that... I feel like first let's start off by the seven. Sevens and tarot are all about, first of all, they're both major arcanas, okay? These are these are minor arcanas, and those tend to talk about and point to things that are temporary, like everyday issues. Um, but with the pairing of the sevens of pentacles and the seven of swords, it's more than likely, Scorpio, referring to maybe something about your day-to-day -day life. It's nothing really big, nothing really grand, or like an overarching message. But because it's a seven of pentacles and the seven of swords and they're both seven cards, this is something that's looked at to be like a significant combination. And um, sevens in tarot, generally speaking, is about reflection on some type of assessment. It's like some may, may even represent knowledge or maybe somebody who is, uh, knows how to do something. Um, and I feel like with them making an appearance together, it's an indication that there's a reflection and assessment or the absence of the assessment thereof that 
could be referenced along with maybe some sort of concepts of knowledge and information in some way. So it's like maybe somebody didn't take the time to assess a situation and get more knowledge or information about something. And because of that absence, you're realizing that there's there's something that can't progress here because you're realizing the absence of it. And it, you're maybe reflecting on this. Like, how did I miss that? Um, the simplest way to think about the Seven of Pentacles is about vision, perseverance, profit, reward, and investment. And the Seven of Pentacles is about having diligence and attention to details at on every level. Okay, it's a labor of love. And it's a task that usually bears the mark of attention and maybe even perfectionism, which is when your hard work pays off. Okay. I feel that I don't know, Scorpio. I'm feeling like, and with the Seven of Swords, that's about, you know, betrayal, deception, getting away with something. Um, it's talking about stealth. So it's like something is not as it seems. Someone maybe is silently profiting off the expense of others, or maybe they could just be deceiving you because they're going through something and the shadows of their life and being sneaky and tricky and it's something that's unseen and this is why they're not able to put in the effort and you're just now being it's like being brought to your attention that maybe this hard work isn't paying off or that somebody doesn't have perseverance or they're they can't really put in a real investment here because they don't they lack it they lack this this um quality or they lack the way to go after you know what it is that they want that maybe this is a person who's irresponsible is what I keep hearing and they're feeling regretful about that because it could be causing an ending okay they're needing to maybe find balance in their life this person could have Sagittarius in their chart um and is this emotional offer maybe this is a person who who can't provide stability in their life um, and this is a wish that they're hoping to achieve, but I'm not sure that you're going to want to wait here for very long. You might need to do something quickly. Tell me how this person's feeling about Scorpio, please, at this time. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Give me one more spirit. Okay, they said take both. We have King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So it's like... You could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign or maybe a fixed sign. Bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles in reverse. Okay, yeah. I knew it had something to do with finances or something. And the four of swords. It's like you, something might not be able to be healed with this person and they could be staying silent about it because they're not able to give. And so I feel like this person could have just backed away. With the Wheel of Fortune being there, I feel like they feel like maybe this is something that's negatively impacting their life. It could, they feel like maybe it's karmic or this always happens to them because they don't have enough willpower and determination to go after what they want. Seven of Wands. It's like somebody's guarding themselves and this is a tr maybe a cold hard truth that you're getting. This person could be watching you from a distance or maybe you're just now, you're trying to gain more knowledge about how this person can't do that with the Knight of Pentacles and it's something, it moves slowly. It's like something can't move forward. It's moving slowly and you don't, I feel like you can't have slowly. With a High Priestess, I feel like you, this inner knowing is sort of telling you that maybe you can't work well with this person and I feel like it's putting you in your head with the Nine of Wands, Three of Swords because it's something that you really wanted to have happen here with the... Yeah, okay, I'm, this is making so much sense to me. It's like this is somebody who... So I'm feeling like with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Scorpio, the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups, you could have two people that are interested in you or maybe you have two people that are surrounding you, um, a water sign and a fire sign, like I said. But I'm feeling like you're feeling like maybe you need to guard yourself from this person or maybe that... You've received some sort of truth about how maybe this person, or you're trying to gain knowledge about this person, about how maybe, I feel like for a lot of you, let me spit this out of my mouth if I can get it out. Um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's like you feel like maybe there's 
it's a disappointment. Something's a disappointment about maybe you feeling like somebody not seeing somebody's drive or somebody's, um, you know, potential to maybe be passionate about something. Maybe you, you thought they could have, they could have a lot of love. And I feel like there's a lot of passion here, but maybe you're not seeing somebody with them having the determination that you need to persevere and to push through something to maybe get something off the ground here. You're feeling like it's a disappointment. It's misfortune is what I'm hearing. There's like an, an unforeseen setback that's maybe having to make you guard yourself here because not having enough knowledge about something, not getting enough information, and maybe not knowing the whole truth of a situation. And with the three of pentacles not being able to work with them your intuition is telling you that maybe you're you know that you are going to have to put a lot more work in this person or that it's going to maybe take a lot more work to get on the same page um, because something is moving too slowly here for you and i feel like with the nine of wands this is this is very burdensome on you i feel like the nine of wands it's like maybe you're feeling like um you're needing to guard yourself because you don't want to get, because it's hard, it's causing heartbreak. Maybe you feel even betrayed to some extent because you, the world being here, there's a cycle. Maybe you feel like that needs to close out because of nine of pentacles. Maybe you need to work on your independence or, you know, maybe somebody's not stable on their own. It could be you that you're not stable on your own or somebody could be feeling this way. Uh, you could be feeling this way about them. But you're feeling like maybe somebody could be just wanting to end something um, and this is a betrayal possibly because maybe you thought you were going to have marriage here with this person. Or this could also be talking with the four of wands that maybe somebody needs to end a marriage to get stability on their own in order to have a new beginning with somebody after having their heart broken. And maybe they're feeling pretty guarded about doing this because it's going to take it's going to take time and somebody's going to need to be dedicated to this. And your intuition could be telling you to, that you can work together with this person, but you're not sure. You need to gain, with a page of swords, you need to gain some more information here in the situation in order to have something progress here. Um, this could be after coming out of another connection, five of pentacles, five of cups and death. You could have ended something with somebody else where maybe you're in scarcity and you don't have enough to give this person and maybe you're feeling regret for that. Maybe I'm hearing um, three of wands, three of pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing maybe it's just right person, wrong timing. And this is a misfortune. This is this is a mishap. It's unfortunate that this is happening. I feel like you're trying to move things on to calmer waters. Okay. Um, and maybe even go quickly after, you know, manifesting your dreams. But maybe you're going to have to do this alone. Okay, and you find this unfortunate to maybe having to guard yourself because you're in scarcity. And you're feeling you're feeling overwhelmed by that because I feel like you care about this person. I didn't see any cups hardly. Queen of Cups came out, which means you do have love for this person. Tell me why Scorpio is the yeah, five of cups, the tower. It's like there's a lot of regret here to have to walk away from something. And this is gonna cause a tower moment. Because you don't want to. How does Scorpio feel about this person, please, Spirit? How are you feeling about them? What are their, your emotional feelings about this person? Hang on, that's too many. What is Scorpio emotional feelings? Look, as I split the deck, we have the Knight of Cups, the Empress. It's like you see this person as um, an opportunity to have a new beginning here with somebody who you have a lot of romantic feelings for. How do you feel about them? You feel the Ace of Pentacles. You feel like this is an opportunity for a new beginning to give you everything you've ever wanted, but you, maybe you need to, maybe this person's not stable on their own, or maybe you're not stable on your own to have this opportunity, or you're needing to work on this bottom of the deck, seven of cups. Maybe something feels like it was an illusion here that you saw something that maybe um, you feel like can't happen now, or that you're not sure if it could happen. Four of swords, you could be needing to heal because this could have affected you. Maybe you feel like it's maybe you're going to be, tell me about Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Yeah, you, this is a person who you love. Six of Cups could be somebody from your past, could be a soulmate from a past life or somebody you shared a past life with, somebody who's returned to your life. 
that was, um, what do we say? Somebody who returned from your past um, that maybe was giving you friendly support. Could be a twin flame. Um, but you're needing to forgive forgiveness from this person maybe because you need to show yourself love. Maybe there's a psychic connection here where the two of you know that what's happening. And this is going to require you to have open, honest communication with each other. You need to have a really deep heart-to-heart -heart connection or a conversation about this person. Yeah, Eight of Swords, but you're both in your head about Three of Swords, about breaking each other's heart or maybe letting the other person down. Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. It's like you feel like you're in a mental prison because maybe this is feeling like betrayal or like something was an illusion that you wanted this new beginning. You're in your head about maybe having this new beginning because you feel like maybe this person, they lack something in order, something that you need. That's what I'm hearing. Something you need. What does this person want? This person wants Queen of Cups. This person wants you. Or Queen of Wands. This person wants... Okay, maybe they. Maybe there's just a lot of passion here. Maybe they were just really highly attracted to you. Tell me about Queen of Wands. The Five of Swords. So, for some of you, this person could have been playing games and really... Um, bottom of the deck we have the four pentacles it's like somebody could be holding on to somebody else and playing games and maybe this is why it's you're not able to move forward nine of cups and it's like somebody doesn't want to let you go they want to hold on to this this wish okay they do have a wish but i feel like there's been betrayal here or it's been a challenge because maybe there's games involved somebody's not telling something yeah, that maybe they have options or that they're create, there was an illusion created here. Two of Pentacles. And it's like you're going back and forth in your head to decide maybe um, are you just overthinking this or is this an illusion? Can you actually create something? What's the advice? The hair front. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune in reverse again. And none of these are in reverse, Scorpio. These are all upright. So with the Hierophant coming in, or when Will of Fortune coming in reverse twice, I feel like for a lot of you, this could have taught you a spiritual lesson. And this is just, you're feeling like this is bad luck. You took a risk to open yourself up to have a new beginning here with this person. But maybe it was just, um, it was the way things were supposed to go. It's just a misfortune that maybe this could have been just a spiritual lesson here. Or this person could have been a teacher to you. Yeah, to go after a wish and maybe showing yourself that love that we saw about putting yourself first. Forgiving, forgiving yourself um, and somebody just needing to give you friendly support. Bottom of the deck, we have seven pentacles. It's like there's um, something about effort or seeing your efforts being rewarded. It's like you weren't seeing something in order to get your wish. Okay. The devils definitely could have Capricorn in their chart. It's like, I feel like you're needing, you're like obsessing about maybe needing to see this person's effort and you're not seeing it. You're not seeing what you need. I feel like they're showing you something, but it's not what you need. King of Swords. And this is a truth maybe that you need to give to this person. Bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Swords. It's like somebody, Somebody's not showing you something and giving you some truth about something, about maybe something going on in their life that could be with the devil. Yeah, about an ending or something they need to transform transform in their life that they weren't telling you. And this is going to cause a tower. Scorpio energy twice. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This could be somebody who you were married to or maybe somebody who you want to marry or that you saw marriage potential with. Yeah, Ten of Wands. This is this is really weighing heavily on you, Scorpio. It's causing a lot of stress in your life because um, you can't get out of your head. You're going back and forth. You're not sure what to do or what to say. Because I feel like this is somebody who you care about. Let me clear these cards. Spirit, tell me what this person is keeping from Scorpio. What are they not telling Scorpio? I feel like there's Seven of Swords that came out a few times. Somebody's keeping something from you or they're si kind of being silent and deceitful. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, that maybe that. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups. Hang on, Scorpio. There's something to pull cards. Okay. What is this person keeping from Scorpio?
the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. What does Scorpio? What does this person need? To, what does Scorpio need to know about this person? The fool. This person might be impulsive. They might make take foolish risk about what they made a made. They made a made an impulsive move to go back to somebody from their past. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords. Somebody from their past. Hmm. So what I'm feeling, Scorpio, is what you don't what you don't see about this person, or what the challenge here, and or that you don't understand about this person. And we have the Seven of Wands, or the Seven of Staffs, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Swords. I feel that with the Seven of Staffs, okay, or the Seven of Rods, okay, or Wands, whatever you want to call them, this is a card that is talking about, um, you know, somebody maybe being defensive, okay. Um, it's talking about challenges, um, competition, perseverance, and defense, okay? And the Queen of Cups is quite, it's on the quite the contrary, okay? This is about, um, you know, it's all about somebody who's emotionally secure, who's calm, intuitive, and compassionate. And um, I feel that this is, with this Queen of Cups, it's like somebody they're needing to give or create maybe some sense of calm, maybe to be a supportive and trustworthy person for you, someone who can give birth to new ideas and add support to the others of that are around them, which is you, okay, and to be like a teacher or a mentor. Um, I feel like what you're not seeing is this person is, um, or what they're not doing or the challenge here is that maybe this person is finding it difficult to give you this emotional support for what you need because they lack knowledge. Okay, they lack knowledge about something or maybe even awareness because this person maybe still is in the learning phases. Um, and they're sort of being more defensive than more emotionally supportive because they don't know you. They don't know how you are. They don't know what it is that you need. And I feel like you could be looking at this person as, yes, a soulmate that you want a new beginning with. But you feel like maybe this person lacks maturity or the capacity to be able to do something here or to move something forward because you don't see the effort. This is why it's happening is the effort. This is why it's all happening because it's like you feel like maybe this person's risky or they make risky moves based on, you know, just memories or based on, um, you know, living in the past. They might live in the past a lot. And, and this is because they don't put any effort or you feel that you don't see any effort any um, work putting into this and it's like this person's not showing up in the emotional energy that you need and it's because they lack some sort of knowledge about how they act and how they're really not giving you what you need or you're not giving them what they need tell me what spirit spirits wanting you to know that you can have a beginning here with somebody from your past but there's um, you need to know there's a lack of effort here on this person's part four of wands could be because of a marriage or this could be somebody who wants marriage with you it could have to do with your home life your foundation tell me what about four ones the five of cups again somebody regrets maybe um not being able to give you like yeah but you're emotionally fulfilled by this person somebody feels like they lack something to give you to provide you with this emotional support it could be an ending and it's like they're feeling stuck in some way about giving you this truth okay um, and making a choice to move forward something here with you quickly to be able to bring balance but it's um they're not maybe they're lacking determination or the there could be secrets about maybe this person giving you justice and being strong enough because they're being secretive about something to um, be able to be your partner and give you this beginning. It's like there's some sort of scarcity here about stability and having options or making decisions in their life because maybe they're maybe they don't know how to make decisions or they spend foolishly or something is what I'm hearing. 
Let's see, Scorpio. Tell me what the um, possible outcome is here for Scorpio and this person, please, Spirit. I feel like maybe somebody could be wishing to end it because they're not seeing what they need to. Somebody finds you very attractive, though. I just saw the Queen of Wands. Somebody finds you attractive. What is this person's, or what is the outcome here? Spirit. The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Somebody could just be coming towards you with passion, and I don't feel like this is something you're looking for. With that Four of Wands coming out twice, I feel like you're looking for balance in your home life and family. Yeah, um, and I feel like part of the challenge, or maybe the issue, I feel like somebody could be coming back from your past. It could be an emperor, somebody who's stable, who's able to give you what you need. Um, and I feel like you're seeing things differently now. Maybe you're trying to heal something, okay, to manifest what it is that you want. Um, there's an opportunity for forgiveness after maybe playing games, okay, or maybe you feeling like somebody's playing games with you. Tell me about the past with this person Scorpio is dealing with right now. What? Tell me about the past. The page of wands. So you saw potential here. There was an opportunity to have something. Ten of cups in reverse. It's like maybe you saw the potential in the past to have a new beginning with somebody. Um, bottom of the deck, the four of pentacles. It's like you're holding on to everything you have right now because you're feeling like there's disharmony here for something that you saw potential in. Tell me why is this um, Ten of Cups in Reverse Spirit? And the Queen of Cups. Tell me what Page of Wands is here. The Ace of Pen or the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So you're in your head. You're feeling like you're in a mental prison because there's love here. There's definitely love here. Okay, Scorpio, with the Ten of Cups being in reverse, this is this is revealing a misalignment of personal values, maybe not living your own values, and or me even being true to yourself and, and being able to receive that reciprocal love that you need. It's like the Ten of Cups is, is the opposite of stability. Their secrets or their problems in the family or there's something... Um, it's like... There's possibly some sort of conflict or an argument of maybe an unhappy life. But it's about stability and their secrets or problems in their family. And it's representing maybe even some sort of ache in a marriage that maybe there was a miscarriage here. Hmm. I'm feeling like with this Ace of Cups and this Page of Wands, this is telling me, Scorpio, that it's like, um, I feel like it's encouraging you maybe to embrace new opportunities with enthusiasm and creativity and maybe to remain open to receiving love, okay? Because um, there's a new emotional beginning here that you can have. It's um, with new ideas and creativity and inspiration, okay? I feel like creativity is inspiring you at this moment. But with this Ten of Cups, there's like disharmony in a family life or maybe in your stability that's be showing you to be able or to be able to receive some sort of new love, okay? And it's leaving you in your head is why it's all happening because you're not, you can't get out of your head about maybe, maybe you feel like things are happening too slowly for you because you're in scarcity and you are maybe feeling like regretful and maybe feeling like you need to walk away. Look, there's that Three of Pentacles in reverse again because you need to walk away because you feel like you can't work with somebody and have stability and that's what you need. You need an emperor. You need somebody who who has um, control of their life. Um, and I feel like you're feeling like maybe you need a plan to find balance in your life in order to connect with others maybe that can bring resources to help you give this to have the stability in your life or to nurture your life and take care of yourself, okay? You could have felt like maybe somebody just, you, you feel like a fling to somebody or maybe you feel like they were a fling to you. 
Yeah, there's an ending of a cycle right here or a beginning of a new cycle that's coming full circle to have a new emotional fulfillment that you need to get out of your head. Okay, because you feel like maybe you don't have enough or they don't have enough. Okay, there's an opportunity that you're going to have to heal with somebody here. Somebody's going to be coming in quickly to give you communication. Who is this Knight of Swords spirit? Tell me about this Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords is coming in for this new opportunity with you, but you're going to have to get out of your head and embrace this opportunity after going through something that was maybe feeling like, you know, like your stability was lost. Yeah, there were secrets that... I feel like there's going to be a secret revealed or maybe somebody's going to be expressing their emotions. Tell me about there's that seven of pentacles again somebody's going to tell you that they want to put effort into this situation to reveal some secrets here their emotions are going to be uncovered yeah about how that they want a new beginning here with you that they feel that your destiny that maybe they entered a karmic cycle in their life and they're feeling like um very creative and like an opportunity here is for the both of you the queen of swords in reverse and then we also have the end or the high priestess so some of you are feeling like um, you're sort of saying silent. Maybe you know this person is destiny and they're going to be moving forward to you in your life. It could be an air sign you're dealing with or a Pisces. We also have cancer energy. And this is a person who's probably watching you from a distance right now and trying to gain what knowledge. Page of Cups to see maybe if you're dealing with somebody else. They're not really showing a whole lot of emotions. There's a choice that needs to made here, be made here. It could be dealing with a Gemini between two different people. They're trying to see if you have a choice in love. Tell me about this page of cups in reverse. The nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like they, they're they wondering if they can have this wish. They're feeling heartbroken right now, Scorpio. Betrayed. Maybe they feel like they see things clearly about maybe needing to work on something with you. And it's like it's things are being illuminated to this person about what caused this heartbreak. Maybe because they weren't putting in work. Or that they were not putting any effort in. And they were sort of going back and forth in their head about if they should contact you because of this heartbreak. Okay, this could be somebody else you're dealing with. I'm feeling a different energy here that just popped out of nowhere. Tell me about this Nine of Cups reverse. Too many. Yeah, somebody has a lot on their shoulders. They're maybe they're overwhelmed with responsibilities. They're feeling like they can't. They're feeling like they're they can't. They're buckling under the pressure. I'm hearing about maybe contacting you. They're feeling like this is scary to contact you because yeah, I feel like they could have juggled you with the Queen of Cups that was causing instability. But something's been illuminated about that person and that situation that's caused heartbreak and betrayal because it caused an ending here in your life and their situation. And so now they're wanting to rush in and give you communication of love about this ending because they're feeling like they made a wrong choice. Tell me what this person wants to say to Scorpio.